All right, thanks for tuning in to Leading Forecast. It's been a little while since we've done one of these, so I figured it's uh, time to get back up on the horse here. Let's go on over. This is the current satellite image here from across the nation. You can see uh, this big curly Q right here. This is the 500 millibar low pressure system, and we do have thunderstorms developing out into the clear slot here. Uh, some of these producing tornadoes, in fact, and we'll show you that here in just a minute. Severe thunderstorm watch out across southern Illinois, southwestern Indiana, and the Duke of Kentucky area um, included in that severe thunderstorm watch. And you can see some of those severe thunderstorms getting going down there um, across the Evansville area, out across south central Illinois, where there are still current thunder, currently thunderstorms. Slight risk today. Um, you can see across this area, the rain tornado risk ends up being placed down across central Illinois, southwestern Indiana here at 5%. Uh, we'll go quickly over to Doppler radar here. And you can see still severe thunderstorm warnings and even tornado warnings going on in effect out across Illinois. Uh, to give you a little bit of a where we're at here, down here is Evansville, Indiana. So we're talking uh, just to the south and to the north of Evansville. In fact, there's been some tornado reports out here, as you can see, across southern Illinois. Uh, going over, uh, severe weather risk tomorrow ends up shifting out to the east coast. As this moves off to the east, the sea text comes out through here for maybe some gusty winds. Uh, main risk tomorrow out across the slight risk will be damaging winds and maybe some hail. Maybe an isolated tornado or two, but nothing too major. Then we do have a uh, day four outlook um, already posted across northern Nebraska and South Dakota for a trough that's going to be coming through there that could cause some severe weather. Here's the big story of the day. This is the 500 millibar chart, and you can see here's your 500 millibar uh, cold core low here, and this is what's helping get some of these uh, storms fired up out ahead of it. In fact, uh, like I said, that's where we're starting to see those tornadoes develop. This is the rapid refresh. This is a little later on today, and we can zoom in and let you see what exactly is going on here. And this is down across Indiana and Illinois. Still severe thunderstorms. Look. Whoops, going off over there, and then some thunderstorms developing out across south, central, and western Indiana a little later on. Again, some of these could be severe. Uh, I'm talking about potentially keeping that watch up and extending it. Uh, this is as we get 500 millibar pattern. This is as we get into Sunday. Here's your 500 millibar low uh, sitting off the east coast here. This is the one that's spinning down here right now, and it'll translate off this way. And then here's another deep trough coming in off the west coast, and that's going to work its way through as well. In fact, as we get into Monday, here's that trough coming in, uh, cutting up through the Colorado, Nebraska, South Dakota area. And that's going to continue to work its way through as we get into Tuesday and your low pressure center, center at 500 millibars there. And we have this little uh, positive tilted trough. And that's going to bring the potential for severe weather, I think, out across this area. Nothing, you know, no major outbreaks. And uh, we were, you know, returned to a little bit normal of a flow here. Uh, going on over to the precipitation maps here. This is the GFS. This is as we get into tomorrow. And you can see... Um, there's that preset breaking out across the east coast. Uh, some of those storms down here could be severe times, again, damaging winds and some hail, maybe a couple isolated tornadoes. There's your system out west that's going to get ready to come in here. And as you see, as we get into Sunday, uh, low pressure center here, uh, cold front extending down through here, some storms starting to develop out into California here. And you know, if they say when there's thunderstorms in California, there's probably going to be thunderstorms on the plains. Uh, we skip ahead to Tuesday. Here's your low sitting here. And we get thunderstorms that break out here Monday and then out ahead of this along the front on Tuesday. And so that's kind of your weather situation for now. Um, you know, crazy warm flow. You know, it's, it's been really, really warm out across the plains and across most of the United States, breaking records. And it looks like it's going to continue to do that. So anyways, that's all I have for now. If you're out across uh, Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky, then maybe into Ohio a little later tonight. Uh, keep watch out for some severe thunderstorms, maybe even some isolated tornadoes.